now in this tutorial we are going to see the another life cycle hook method that is young on it and suppose we are type here young on it and enter then see the its definition it is called after the constructor and it can be used to initializing the input properties and also the first call to young on generate and also it shows to add the implements on init interface to the class that is nothing but likewise on changes we are also implement the on init interface from here and also it is imported from the angular code so we also see in the introduction ng on it is a life cycle hook method provided by angular and generally used to perform the task that is nothing but it is also used to perform the task related to winding or any type of task or it can be used to handle the task or also see in this definition the life cycle hook that is called after angular has initialized all data bound properties of a directive or component and define an ng on init method to handle any additional initialization task that is nothing but it can be used to handle the initialization task suppose here we are creating one property simple property and we initialize it to empty value and we assign the value for this in the ng on it method this dot supports value is equal to supports hello world and simply access this property in the template and here simply access this values property using the interpolation and then save our changes and see the output and see here hello world and also ng on it hook method is called now you can do the same thing using the constructor also but the constructors are time consuming sorry but the tasks are time consuming so the better way to handle these tasks using the using the ng on init method instead of constructor so the ng on init is the best place to handle the time consuming task also it can be used to fetching the data from the remote server so fetching the data from the remote server also takes uh, the uh, lots of time or it, it can be time consuming so the better place to write the service inside the ng on init instead of constructor so we are going to see in our upcoming tutorials uh, the service so in the tutorial we will see ng on init also so and also we suppose write here one constructor and suppose write console dot log and simply write the constructor is called and here also copy this line and here press then from that you will know that the life cycle sequence so which method is called first so for that we are write this ng on changes 
save our changes and now you will see the output and you will see the first is constructor is called after the constructor ng on changes hook method is called and after that ng on int hook method is called so this is the angular life cycle and also we see in our first tutorial or first part of this tutorial see here or also see here ng on changes is the first method is called after that ng on init is called and ng on init is called once after the first ng on changes so it is called only once and it can be called after the ng on changes see the output it can be called after the ng on init and after the constructor also it can be called after the constructor and also if we write suppose ng on in it you will write suppose here before the constructor and then see the output and you will see here constructor is called after the constructor ng on changes hook method is called but not the ng on in hook method is called because we are calling this method before the constructor but the angular life cycle says this ng on init hook method is called after the constructor so because of that ng on init method is not called so it so the right place of ng on init method is after the constructor not the before the constructor or you, you can also place it after the ng on changes also the in that case output will be same also and save our changes or better way write it or it is no problem it is here also now you will see constructor then ng on changes and then ng on image now the angular life cycle says ng on init method is called only once after the first ng on changes now if we change this input suppose jd and now you will see the output this ng on init method is called only once after that ng on changes we changes this output only the ng on changes method is called not the every time ng on changes method will be called not the ng on init method see the output so that is nothing but ng on init it is called only once after the first ng on changes so this is nothing but the angular life cycle hook method and also the constructor is called only once and after the constructor ng on init is also called only once so this is nothing but angular life cycle hook method